Ever seen someone twist an argument to make it sound ridiculous? That's a straw man fallacy, and today we'll unpack it using a hot button example. When pro Palestinian arguments get labeled as anti Semitic, we'll cover what it is, why it's used, and how to shut it down, all in a way you'll totally get. So, what's a straw man? It's when someone misrepresents an argument to make it easier to attack, like fighting a weak scarecrow instead of the real deal. The term comes from 20th century logic, inspired by straw dummies that are easy to knock over, with roots in Aristotle's debates. It's sneaky and super common. Here's a clear example from 2025. Imagine someone says, Israel's West Bank settlements violate international law. A critic responds, that's just anti-Semitic hate against Jews. That's a straw man. The original argument was about specific policies, not Jews as a group. By twisting it into something hateful, the critic avoids debating the tough stuff, like settlement laws, and makes the argument sound extreme. This happens a lot in media, like when 2025 news outlets call pro-Palestinian protests anti-Jewish without proof, misrepresenting their push for Gaza rights. Why do people use straw man fallacies? They're powerful. First, emotional appeal. Calling something anti-Semitic stirs outrage, rallying audiences against the bad guy. Second, dodging complexity. It's easier to slam hate than debate international law. Third, polarization. It paints opponents as bigots, boosting clicks and political points, like in heated 2025 campus protest coverage. How do you counter it? Call it out. Say, that's not what I said. My point was about settlements, not Jews. Clarify your stance. Restate your argument clearly to refocus. Demand evidence. Ask, where's the anti-Semitic part? Show me. Acknowledge nuance. If real anti-Semitism pops up, call it out, but keep policy critiques separate. Strawman fallacies, like this one, are everywhere. Politics, social media, even class debates. Spotting them keeps you sharp and arguments honest. Stay logical and you'll own any discussion. Thanks for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and share for more.